Welcome to this integrated math 3 practice test for 10 ready. Question number 19. Um, in this question we're going to use the values on the left and sort of this is originally designed for computer so you drag them over but in this case you can just write them in. Question says Michelle deposits money into the bank every month. On the first month she deposits four dollars. Each month after Michelle deposits three times as much as she did the month before, and the three times thing matters here a lot. It's what helps us define things as exponential. On your answer document, place a value for the left-hand column into each box to complete the equation, modeling her monthly deposit y on month x. Now, the uh, reality here is since I'm going up by three times, and three times is the same as 300%, the reason that that matters, by the way, is if I was changing by a constant amount, you'd have essentially this. You'd have a linear equation. The amount that changes after each input would be defined by the, uh, the uh, slope formula, or not the slope formula, the slope itself. And then if I had ax squared, this would affect how much it goes up by, but it would be using squared. Same for x to the third, and so on and so forth. The thing about three times as much as the previous value means that you're basing it off of what's happening in the problem and not consistently using the same amount. So three times something uh, changes when you change what the thing is. So in the second term, three times that is going to be smaller than the fourth time you do three times that number. So that's important. That's how you know it's exponential because the uh, object is constantly in motion, I guess is a good way to explain it. So when I have an exponential, y equals x, a times bx, which kind of makes the uh, key incorrect because it has plus in it, even though there's no element to put plus in here. They also use a really weird perspective on how they define where uh, the first, second, and third deposits. It's not that weird, but it's a little weird. Anyway, we can put all the parts in. The idea of an exponential is that your input is the exponent. So you're applying... Uh, the multiplication ahead before you multiply it by the uh, original term. This is the current value of the original value of 4. B represents change still and it's 3. And the X is the part, uh, is of course the input is the exponent. And then you just set it equal to Y. So there's your final answer. That's it. Now how do you test it? The testing it is where you can see that they when a, and use an interesting perspective on how they define what zero means. Generally, you would say the first deposit would be one because they say first month, but that's not really what it means. You don't actually start applying it until month two. So what they want you to do, because they're using x as opposed to x minus one, is to say zero is four. And then the first time you do it will be the first deposit that gets this applied. So then uh, four times three is twelve. And you can run this and type in four times three to the first and that all works out. You get twelve. Four times three to the second would be four times nine which is of course thirty-six. And that would make sense. This is three times this, three times this, and the third would be 108 I think. Yeah. So you just test to make sure it's multiplying by 3 each time. But if I were setting it up, because the, they identified this as the first month, I would say 1 is 4, but that's just you know in my head, and then you use x minus 1. But that's not how they have it organized here, so don't do what I'm doing. Just do what they tell you to do to earn your uh, points and get done with this test. So there you go, 19y equals 4 times 3 to the x power.